why do you think there is a threat in terms of governmental or issues for some countries? There are some data that's available for some certain group of people that's not available for the others. This is something that I've also, some trouble that I've been facing with some projects that I've been working on. For example, finding data set in English, but not in Arabic. This is something that we actually need to work on to find more data. It poses a huge problem, especially a lot of ethical questions arises. And uh, like you said, this is why a lot of governments are afraid of that, because it can make a lot of biased decisions if it's trained on some white males and it's not trained on females. How are we going to make decisions based on that? It's not reliable. A biased model is basically a very bad model. It's not reliable. It's better to use a model with an AI model with a lower accuracy than a model that has a very high accuracy but towards a certain uh, group of people. This has a lot of room for improvement. There are a lot of talks about how we can improve these data sets and a lot of people are trying to collect more data sets. There is actually a paper that I've been reading recently. It was a paper by Google it's called the Translatoron, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And one of the interesting things that I found in it, it addresses the lack of data. There are some languages that don't really have a lot of data for them. So this is an issue. So what this paper proposes is how can I train my model using a certain data and then trying to tweak it basically to help with the other data. This is something that a lot of companies are working on and it's something that I'm also uh, looking forward to understand more about. It's a paper that I've read recently and it's something that companies like Google are also struggling with, especially in languages. As you can see, sometimes translations are better in one language but very terrible in others. This paper uh, addresses that and it's a continuous area of development. We're trying to find more ways is how can we face that issue? How can we build algorithms and models that can work on smaller sets of data? Something that can be done is training a model on basically maybe a group of people which have a huge amount of data and then taking that model and tweaking it a bit with a smaller set of data of the other group. This could be one of the things to do and uh, there's a lot of research going around that area.